Welcome to TVC News this hour. And it has been confirmed that the governor of Ondo State, Ruti Mekiridalu, is dead. A government official told TVC News that he died in a hospital in Germany at about 2 a.m. today. Governor Akiridalu had a prolonged battle with leukemia and prostate cancer, which incapacitated him. Only recently, he wrote a letter transmitting power to his deputy to allow him to proceed on yet another medical vacation. The Indo state government says it is waiting for the family to issue a notice uh, confirming the death. Roti Makiridulu was born on the 21st of July 1956. He was sworn in as governor for his second term after he won the election in October 2020. For more on the demise of the governor of Ondo State, Oluwarotim Akiridulu, our correspondent, Ayo Deji Muradeo, joins me from the state capital. Ayo, thank you so much for joining us. It's uh, uh, a very sad mood for the people of Ondo State, a black day. Uh, talk to us about what more we know about the death of the former governor. Uh, for now, let me tell you that it is a black Wednesday for the people of Ondo State, Southwest Nigeria. I can tell you that what we are waiting for now is the official confirmation from the state government. Uh, the state government has not issued a statement to that to that effect, but uh, the news is everywhere. Uh, it has not been officially confirmed, but media reports say the governor is dead and the people of the state are mourning. I'm currently at the governor's office and I can tell you people gathered in di differently to discuss this issue of the death of the governor. Some still don't believe that the governor is dead because some of them said that uh, uh, something like this has happened before, that it will be another rumor. But I can tell you that the NGF, uh, the governors have also commiserated with the people of the state over the death of the governor. But for now, we are waiting for official statement to confirm if the governor is gone for now. Have you been able to speak with any government official there around the governor's office? You talked to us about uh, the, quiet, the quietude around there. Uh, did anyone or has anyone spoken to you about the person of, of the former governor, what he thinks or whatever it is, information they have? Uh, some of them, they directed me to the commissioner for information in the state, that that is the mouthpiece, who is going to disclose if the governor is dead, is late. But some of them said uh, that the governor is dead, but they did not want to come out to say it because they are not, uh, cannot speak on behalf of the government, and, and that is the situation. Some of them believe that the governor would be missed if he's actually no more because of his stance when he was alive, what he did when he was alive, especially uh, when he stood his ground uh, for the establishment of Amotekun Corps, uh, which is fighting insecurity in the Southwest. And his, his stance during the last uh, governor, uh, presidential election when he said that the, gov the South should produce a governor, which has come to reality. So it will be missed by the people, and the people uh, believe that this is, should not come at this time. They're expecting because they believe is is a good man who has ruled the state uh, wonderfully because of some of the things he has done in terms of projects uh, for the development of the state. But for now, we're waiting for official statement for the state government, and once that is done, uh, we'll get it across to you. All right, Ayo Dejimarade, hang on. Uh, let me quickly go to um, Oyo State, where we have our state correspondent, Olaido Yowale, who is standing by the Badon residence of the late governor. Uh, uh, Olaide, uh, bring, us, uh, bring us up to speed what information you're able to garner from around his Badon residence. That talking about the uh, former governor, Ruti Marik Akaridulu, whose news of death reached us a while ago. Ibrahim, so I can confirm to you that right about now, um, the um, house of uh, Governor Ruti Akiridolu here in Ibadan is deserted and there is no sign of any of his relatives around. So, in fact, we have to start walking around because this is a reserved area, it's a government reserved area here in Ibadan. So we have to start looking around to ask questions, if anybody has heard about it. So we're able to speak with um, the security man that is um, in the building and he confirmed to us that there is nobody in the house. He is the only person at home and that he is even just hearing the news um, of the uh, demise of his 
of his boss, of his principal here. So you would recall that a couple of months ago, um, some Southwest, Southwest governors came around. This is, the, um, this is the actual house where they came to visit the governor um, when he came back from Germany. And um, they came to see him and to say um, hello to him and to wish him well, to wish him quick recovery. But it's unfortunate that we are hearing this at this time. So again, I can confirm to you that um, um, according to the security man here, there is nobody in the house. In fact, we learned that um, security personnel used to be around here. They used to hang around here. Uh, but now, uh, as we can see, there is none of them around. So we expect that uh, as time goes on, people will start coming into perhaps the family members or those who feel they can come here to, I mean, to say, to wish them, um, um, to wish them well um, um, as regards the uh, demise. So, so far, there's nobody around, and everywhere is um, deserted and silent. Uh, Olade, reconfirm for us Ibrahim. again. Uh, it looks like you were the one who broke the news to the security uh, person right there at the former governor's gate. Is that the point you're trying to make? Yes, yes, yes. In fact, when I approached him, I, I, I talked to him, I spoke to him about it. He said, ah, I is even just hearing this for the very first time, that where did we hear this from? And we told him, of course, you should know we should have um, vital information because we are um, journalists and whatever comes from us, um, you should know it should be authentic. So he had to believe us. He had no choice than to believe us that uh, this has happened. And uh, he said he would not be able to speak with us. Uh, yeah, that he has no he has no right to speak with us. So that whatever we hear, we should just try to make calls around and hear from people. And whatever news we get, we should just disseminate to the people. So. Um, that is the update from here, Ibrahim. All right, uh, Olaide Oyewole, live for us in Oyo State at the residence of the f uh, former governor, uh, Oluwaro Timia Karedolu. Let me t go back to uh, Ondo State where we have our correspondent, Ayodeji uh, Moradeo, who is standing by for us. Ayodeji, we, all, we know that uh, the former governor of your state there, you know, was a very sound, vocal, and straight-to-the-matter personality, you know, former president of uh, the uh, Nigeria Bar Association. Uh, before his demise, he transmitted power, uh, transmitted authority to his deputy, Loki Aidatiwa. Uh, what actions or what activities are there to follow afterwards, you know, following the news of his death? What do we expect to see? Well, uh, after the, his death has been confirmed, the, then the House of Assembly will swing into action to confirm uh, the Ayedatua, uh, Loki Ayedatua as a substantive uh, governor of the state and will be sworn in thereafter. And that is the step to be taken. But for now, I spoke to some lawyers who said the constitution must be duly followed in ensuring that things are done the way it should be done. Mm. All right, uh, keep close tabs on the development because it's actually a developing story which is reaching us um, right from there uh, in the state. Uh, correspondent, Ayodeji Muradeo, thank you so much for the update. Thank you. Still on the demise of the governor of Ondo State.